Hey gorgeous, so today I want to talk to you about a topic that's somewhat sensitive for me and to be quite honest this video may be a little bit more vulnerable than some of the ones that I've done in the past. So as you can see by the title of the email I want to talk to you about why men love me and women hate me. Um, so since I have shifted my business, my messaging, my branding to really helping women tap into their natural magnetism and unlock it, bring it into the world, but specifically with men, I've been getting a lot of pushback, but only from women. Um, I've received some negative comments about how I portray myself, the message that I'm portraying. I've been called an escort. I've been called other things. Um, and it really sheds light on this topic. So again, all of the negativity that I have been receiving in terms of my new messaging, let me also say there's been a lot of positive reinforcement, a lot of women saying, thank you so much for bringing this to light. So it's not all bad, but all of the negative um, feedback that I've been receiving has only been from women. So this goes along with a question that I receive a lot from women is, I want to learn how to be magnetic, but I want to be in control of it so that I feel safe. So there's this underlying issue that if you're magnetic, that you may not be physically or emotionally safe, typically when it comes to men. So I really wanted to shine a spotlight on the truth and the heart of the matter here. So when it comes to men and me being magnetic and wearing whatever it is that I want to wear and portraying myself authentically as me empowered as a feminine woman. How I'm met by men is with respect. I receive so much from men. They don't see me as easy, as an escort, as any of the negative conditioning we've been taught that that kind of portrays in a woman, they see me as this high level woman that they have to prove that they're worthy of. Not only that, but I've been pulling in such high level men, men who are successful in their careers, who are open minded, who are more evolved consciously. So the fact that I'm magnetic does not make me an easy target for men and it does not, um, show men that I'm easy by any means. In fact, it does the exact opposite. But I want to talk about why women and so many women have been pushing back or giving me negative feedback about my messaging. And this is where it gets a little uh, vulnerable for me and it gets a little um, sensitive. We as women are the worst oppressors of the feminine. And to be completely honest, as, as true as this messaging is for me, I knew that once I shifted into this, I would probably get criticized and get a lot of negative feedback. Again, I've received a lot of amazing positive feedback as well, but that's one of the reasons why I know I was so hesitant because while this message is so needed right now, where we are in terms of a society, in terms of humanity, in terms of a consciousness, we need the empowered feminine. I know that that's part of my work here. Um, I also knew that as women, we are the worst oppressors and vilifiers of what it means to be an empowered feminine being, an empowered feminine woman. So today I want to assure you that no matter what anyone is going to say, think, or do against you tapping into your magnetism, the ways that you may assume that it wouldn't be safe, whether it be with men, in terms of physical or emotional interactions, that's not actually the case. When a woman steps into her magnetism, she receives more respect, more honor, and more cherish, being cherished from a man. When she steps more into her empowered feminine, while she may receive some negative feedback and criticism from other women, it shows other women what is possible. So you, gorgeous, as a leader, as a trailblazer, 
now is your time to unlock your magnetism because when we as women stand together in this empowered feminine, in this magnetism, we are safe. That is our safety, is tapping into this because when we tap into this, the level of self-love, of self-confidence, and of self-awareness goes through the roof and that is truly what protects us. So again, I just really wanted to bring this to light because if you're sitting there and you've judged me or had some thought about what you think I'm selling or doing, no judgment on my part. I get it. You've been conditioned that way. We've all been conditioned that way. And I know when I started my journey and I started really uncovering the truth about the feminine, I had a lot of judgments about it as well. But it's something that you judge so much that it's really what you need. So whatever your thoughts are on my new messaging, my new branding, I just really invite you to see that it is through empowering yourself with your own magnetism that you create more safety, more truth, and more love in your life. So I hope this gave you a little bit more of an insight of how to control your magnetism so that you can stay safe. Because the fact of the matter is, ladies, men, the world, society are craving, dying, longing for you to finally be magnetic. So the question is, are you ready to do it or not? I'll see you next week.